Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 25 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. It's uh, Thanksgiving weekend coming up, uh, so hopefully everyone's just hanging out and chilling. And, uh, well, I mean, if you're in America anyway, uh, because I guess not everyone celebrates Thanksgiving, but you know, uh, I don't know. I just started drinking water, so I, I feel really happy. Uh, I need more water maybe during the middle of it. But uh, but yeah, it was 73 hours. I'm probably going to start... Um, I, I, I think I, I, I didn't plan this one out very well. I usually do bone broth um, uh, a few hours after my dry fast. Um, you know, as my body kind of gets used to everything. But, uh, but I didn't wake up early in... Uh, not that I didn't wake up. I, I just didn't get um, I didn't get out early enough uh, to to I didn't prepare enough. Is what I mean to to buy things for the bone broth. Uh, so mistakes were made. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, with the water, I do feel a little bit energized, but uh, still no calories. So we'll see. And maybe I should have done a little bit salt. I think that's the thing that I actually forgot this time. But anyway. Let's take a look at today's poem. Uh, if I, you know, I have slightly more energy, but we'll see if I still make silly mistakes like the last couple of days. Anyway, we have 773 sliding wind, uh, sliding puzzle. Man, I've been seeing a lot of sliding window lately. On, on a two by three board, there are five tiles labeled one to five, an empty square represented by zero. A move consists of choosing zero and a four directional adjacent number, swapping it. The state of the board is solved, uh, solved if only the board is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is one slide, right? Okay. Given the puzzle board board, we turn the least number of moves that require... Uh, okay. Um, so the two things to think about it, one is the number of moves, right? I mean, there's six squares in total if you count the zero or the empty space as one square. Um, so as a result, there's going to be at most six factorial, right? And six factorial is about like 720 or something. We double checks. Yeah, 720. So 720 is very easy to brute force, right? So you should just do it. Um, the other thing is that you can actually, um, well, the, the, uh, you know, if you play like a slightly bigger version, like a, a, a 3 by 3 version already, you know, that's 9 factorial, which is much bigger. What is it, like 86 something, right? Um, and if you could do it every time, it gets a little bit expensive. So what you want to do is you want to save down the copies, right? Um, that's one for pre-processing. Easy to do. You only have 720, so it probably doesn't matter either way. Um, then the, and, and there's the impossible case, right? The impossible case is actually interesting um, because uh, because I don't know if this applies for six elements, I guess, actually. I mean, I guess it probably does. But there is a, a parody thing where half the, um, half the moves are not possible. So you actually only, if you do like a BFS, which I intend to do, um, there will only be only 360 things and then everything else, you know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, you know, you could probably hash it or something and then we'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, but for now, we'll, we'll do a breath first search. And the way to pre-process it, um, and I'm going to do the pre-processing, is so that in the future, in future queries, you only have to do all of one lookup or all of N where N is... Maybe the number of cells because you have to read it or something, right? Um, and then look it up, and it'll be pretty simple. Um, yeah, and the the way that you might do that though is not but first searching the shortest path from the from the board, but from the ending result. And that's really the idea, um, and also that it is the shortest path form. I think I just I said that a little bit late, but yeah. Okay, so. Let's set it up. I know that these are constants, but it's just kind of, you know, I don't know, just, eh, <laughs> become second nature and so forth. Yeah, uh, sorry. Um, yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, so we have... The row and the columns, and then now we want to say, um, yeah. So we'll write it as if we're pre-processing. There are some pre-processing tricks on lead code, which I don't want to too, focus too much energy on because I think in general you should learn these problem-solving things and not 
Lico specific things, right? So I just wanted to make that clear. But okay, so maybe we have a pre-process, a pre-process thing, right? Where okay, so then now um, you start with the result, right? So maybe the current, or maybe the um, I don't know, start. Where you go to do 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 do, right? So this is going to be uh, one, two, three. Oops. I have an extra thing I know, hang on. Four, five, zero, right? And then, you know, maybe we have a hasher, right? Uh, and maybe it could be like hash of a board. I guess hash is a thing, so let's call it a U, right? Let's say B for board, so that it is totally unreadable. But then we, but yeah, it is just for X in R. Or whatever, for i in range of r, for j in range of c. We're given a number, so I think one thing, way that you think about it, and maybe the more, eh, whatever, we'll just use a string, right? I was going to do something with like a, a, a variable base number, and you could do this with like, um, you know, you cho you can choose to, like basically n factorial, in this case, is 6 factorial, and 6 factorial, you can actually map every number to the permutation, right? Eh, but that's too too confusing, too hard. Uh, so today we'll just keep it silly simple, right? Uh, we'll just make it a string and then we hash it. And then we turn to the and then whatever, right? So that's the hash. And then, yeah. <coughs> and this is the shortest path thing, so then maybe we have a distance um, uh, uh, as a, a whatchamacallit, a lookup thing, right? Uh, so then distance of start is equal to zero, and we have a, and this is a binary, oh no, it's a, what can we call it, a BFS, so we can put it on a queue, right? Uh, yeah, just zero start, and then just a regular BF, uh, BFS, breath for search, um, because we're just making one move at a time. And there's some stuff that, you know, m maybe we can clean up a little bit. Um, because here, maybe, you know, we would have to search for the zero every time. So maybe we can just, um, just start with, what is it? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, what is it? Uh, one, two. I don't know why it took so long to write that, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, one, two. Right, so then now we have D for distance. Um, uh, uh, B for board. And and then uh, x y right is in q dot pop left, and then now we're trying to make the move right. So we're at x y, so the m empty space is at x y, and we're trying to swap it uh, for all possibilities right. It doesn't really matter as long as we haven't visited before. So then now uh, we swap with x. Um, yeah. Yeah, and this part is just annoying to write, but that's fine, right? So then uh, you have to... Mm, I'm trying to be careful here and just trying to think for a second. Because in this case, uh, remember that, um, you know, we, we put start here, we put start here. But what this means is that this is a reference, right? Not a value. What that means is that if we make changes to B, um, it would actually change the value, meaning that we swap, you know, say 0 and 3, it would actually change the value, which for changing start maybe doesn't matter, but then it also changes future and back and all these things, all right? So all these things get linked together, so you have to be really careful. Um, so yeah, so maybe we would have actually make a, do a copy thing, right? I mean, you can definitely write better things than this, but I just want to show you, like, it's also very easy to write. Uh, it may not be super efficient, but it's, it's not going to be the slowest thing on your code, so it's probably fine for the most part, right? So then now we have, uh, let's say, new board is just just make a copy just in case, right? Uh, and then now we want to go, um, well, the X, Y can go up, down, left, right, right? Of course, only three of them at most can be true because, you know, like, this is the case where you go up down or three of the cases 
because you're always surrounded by an edge is what I mean so uh, but still let's write out the directions right hmm my, my watch is telling me to stand right So then now, this is how I generally write it. I don't eh, write recommend it. I don't know, but that's how I write my PF. Uh, what is it? Uh, oh. Right, so this is true. And I think that's it, really. Then we just swap, right? Uh, yeah. So we want to do uh, NB xy and b uh nx and y is equal to just yeah just a regular swap no big key no big deal um we just want to make sure that we haven't seen it before right so then now we have to do the hash thing so hash of and b right so new hash is equal to this thing um and then if new hash is in distance then we have seen it before um so then we well, okay, let's write it the other way. Usually I would write it, write it in an early termination way, but um, it might like, contain you, but we actually will unswap, right? Um, we, just for, so we don't have to allocate new space every time. It's, I don't know, is it premature optimization? Probably, honestly, but eh, whatever, just a little bit. Yeah, if it's not in distance, then we should uh, take a look at it. And so, yeah, then D or new distance, it's gonna be D plus one, just by first search things. And then we want to make sure that if ND is less than, uh, well, oh, I guess this is by first search actually. So um, uh, I'm terrible at this. Since this is by first search, if it is not in distance, then it will always be the shortest so you don't have to check. So then now we just append it to the queue, right? We have um, D plus one or ND, I suppose I already did it. Um, we have the new so because we swap back we actually have to make a copy here so copy of new b uh, so maybe this is not necessary or, uh, or like we have to copy uh, whatever we'll make multiple copies because i don't know it's just very sketch um it's very easy to get it wrong well. that's why i'm, I'm you know um, but yeah, and that's pretty much it. Really, that is that is most of the code, um, I think. And then now preprocess is done, right? And then now we just have to figure out whether the um, the current hash is in it, right? So that means that we basically now current hash is equal to hash of the current port, the input port. Right, and then if current hash is in, um, oh, I guess this shouldn't be. In, eh, okay, I mean maybe we should return the distance here. Maybe that's a little bit cleaner. And then otherwise we turn negative one, and that's pretty much it. Right. Uh, this is oh, um, yeah, of course. Where? Huh? D is not defined, but I'm. Oh, whoops! Why? How did that happen? Wait, <laughs> if it times out infinity, then I'm not doing something wrong. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, it shouldn't be take this long. That's why it feels time out. I just forgot to put in the hash. Um. Okay. Yeah, so it looks okay. Let's give it a submit. I mean, this is not a real preprocess, obviously, but um, yeah. My, yeah, okay. So it looks good, and apparently it's fast enough. Oh, 1700 day streak, a even number. Not that it means anything, but you know, it's just nice to see a even number, I suppose. Um, yeah, one thing I would say there are two things, right? Or a couple of things, maybe even. Um, yeah. One thing that I didn't point out, though, is that 
Um, this is the shortest path problem. I mean, I did point that part out. But the reason why we can do this pre-processing is that um, the cost is the way that um, the edges are constructed in this uh, permutation graph is that um, is bidirectional, right, or symmetric, really. Uh, and what that means is that going from A to B is the same cost as going from B to A, the shortest path. And so, so that's why you're able to pre-process from the ending up. Um, and that's really the idea. And you can notice that because, you know, uh, this is whatever. So then um, we can actually do this only once. And if we did this only once, let's say we, um, yeah, because none of this re relies on this. So we can actually put this in here. Uh, this is very Lico specific. Um, I'm not going to get into the details, honestly. Um, but of why this works, is it's very like nuanced. Or like it's just like more in the Python things that it doesn't you know matter too much honestly. Uh, I think directions is also up there. Actually, I think it calls hash and copy as well, so I have to take these out. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I didn't. Well, in this case, we know that this is, uh, yeah. this is brute force. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, so as you can see with pre-processing, this is so much faster. I mean, it, it's it, there are only 720 things, so it's not like it's that much slower to begin with. Uh, and one thing I would say is because, you know, these things are kind of interesting to think about because advent of code is coming up. And if you know, um, I've been doing advent of code for the last couple of years, though last year I was traveling, so I didn't focus on the high score. But, um, but yeah, these things, you know, are more practical. Um, is it interesting? I don't know. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Uh, ooh, what did I click on? Uh, let me know what you think. With the pre-processing, this is going to be O of N because O of N is the cost to hash this and maybe even check the hash. But, uh, but pre-process, we only look at every state. And as I said, there should be only 360 states. So very easy to do, very, you know, very quick, uh, even if you don't pre-process. I guess I didn't do it five years ago. Uh, I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I don't think it makes sense to pre-process the code. But uh, yeah, I don't know why. Wow, I wrote a lot of code five years ago. I mean, this is clean, I suppose. Uh, we have to get next states. Um, yeah, and then we, I mean, it's the same idea, really, with the breath first search. And then I just kind of wrote a di different code for encoding and decoding. And I use a base six number. So I didn't even use the 720 factorial thing. I just used a base six number, which actually makes sense because it's easier to write as well uh, and cleaner than this but yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching and yeah uh stay good stay healthy to your mental health have a great week everybody uh i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye